Hello. I'm very conscious as we come to this day that for you in Driffield Methodist Church, this was planned to be a day of great thanksgiving and celebration with the opening of your fabulous new premises. And I know uh, what heavy hearts, in a sense, you must have today as this day comes and that celebration is not possible. Uh, I'm sure I speak for the whole district and the wider Methodist Church when I say that we're so looking forward to that day when we can join with you in celebrating uh, the achievement of the opening of that building. What a day that will be. Uh, and of course, uh, the coming together of so many plans and hopes and dreams, which for the time being maybe feel a little bit suspended. And yet, as we keep reminding each other, although we can't go to church, we continue to be the church. And we're so thankful for God's continuing faithfulness to us, his goodness to us in these days. I just wanted to share a few words uh, from Philippians in the opening greeting that the Apostle Paul offers. I thank God, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I hope that despite the disappointment of not being able to celebrate today, that we'll hold on to those words. Please be assured of the prayers of the district as you continue to be the church in Driffield. And we look forward to celebrating the great faithfulness of God as he brings that building to completion as he uh, gives us that platform for mission and ministry in Driffield. So God bless you on this day. Continue to put your hope in him, the one who will never let us go, the one who is faithful uh, to the end of time. God bless.